You can now track the status of shipments from certain carriers right within Microsoft Excel using a tool called Package Tracker by Lovely API. I demonstrated this tool and how it could be used with Google Sheets a few months ago. However, Lovely API has now created an add-in for Microsoft Excel, which you can use directly on your computer. Uh, the first thing is to actually add the package tracker add-in to Microsoft Excel, which I will show you how to do right now. So the first step in adding the package tracker is to add the developer tab, which I know many people don't have. And to do that, you click on file, you go all the way to the bottom left, you click on options, then on this menu you find customize ribbon down here, you click on that, move over to the right customize the ribbon main tabs you come down and you'll find developer and you just simply click on that checkbox to turn developer on and then you click OK at this point you now have a developer tab you click on that tab and find add-ins over here click on that and from there you'll go to the store where they actually have a bunch of add-ins that you can add on to Excel if you're interested. But right now we're just looking for package tracker. So I'm going to search for package tracker, the search button. Here's package tracker by Lovely API, which lets you track DHL, FedEx, UPS, USP, and USPS shipments in Excel. Click on add, and then click on continue. and the add-in has now been added to Excel. So now I'm going to show you how to add tracking numbers to Excel and then how to get the status of those trackings with the package tracker tool. But here's the thing. Um, one thing we need to understand about Excel is that when you type in these really long tracking numbers, because some tracking numbers are very long, they'll generally come out like this with the scientific notation, which is not good because that's not the tracking number, right? Or at least it doesn't look like it. So um, I'm going to show you how to solve this issue. It's very simple. All you have to do is select the column where you plan to enter the tracking numbers. Click on column A in this case. And set the format to text, the text format. Because text format will pretty much hold anything. And what it will do is when it sees these numbers, it does not treat it like a number it's just symbols and so you don't have any problems and if you have letters in your tracking numbers right that'll work fine as well right with no problems okay so that is the text format for your tracking numbers now you can either type in tracking numbers or you may already have a list of tracking numbers I have these four that I'm using just for this example I'm going to copy these four tracking numbers these are real tracking numbers and I'm going to paste them. As you can see, this is a long tracker number and it comes out just fine. And now I'm going to show you how to actually use the package tracker. And let me double click inside between A and B to adjust that column. And package tracker is basically a function, which is a formula. And to do that, um, to use it, you can type the equal sign and then the letter P and that will pull up package.status which you'll double click on that and then it's asking for the tracking number and the history whether or not you want the full history which I'll explain in a second for the tracking number I can just actually click on the cell with the tracking number which is A2 comma true or false All right. False meaning no, I do not want to see the full history of the package. That would show you all the locations it has been to. I don't have space for that. I just want the current status. So I'm going to use false, close parentheses, enter, and then it will give me the result. Now, I understand that for some people that might be a lot to do if you're not used to entering formulas and things like that. So I'm going to provide you with a copy of this file that I'm working on right now so that you already have this function filled in. All you'll have to do is put in your tracking numbers on the left and it will pull the status for you on the right. However, once you do enter one the formula one time, you don't have to keep entering it. 
you just put the mouse pointer here on the lower right corner of the cell you get a the small plus sign icon click and drag that down to each cell just as you would do with any other formula and it will copy the function down and as you can see it's giving you the status of these other three tracking numbers now if you had more tracking numbers you would just simply continue to copy this down further and further as needed if there's no tracking number here of course it's going to say invalid tracking number um, but this is how it works if you want you can go ahead and keep copying this down ahead of time and then once you put in the tracking number it will give you the status so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine I'll give you about ten and then if you need more you can just keep copying it down so that's basically how the package tracker works created by lovely API um, just follow the steps to add it to Excel and then um, you can get the template from me or if you want to just do what I did and do it from scratch you can do that as well to get the template is the link on the description of the video it's going to take you to a landing page you're just going to enter your email to subscribe to my Excel for sellers email list there are already hundreds of subscribers on this list who are enjoying the updates all it means is I'm gonna send you updates every time I create a new video with some other tool some tools I create myself and some tools are like this that I someone else created but I'm making it a little easier by providing a template and so um, you know definitely sign up on that email list or just subscribe to the channel as well if you have any comments suggestions or any questions please feel free to leave them below and um, thanks for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in another one